Let's see an example of UBA uh, being used. This was provided by our friend Chris Hankins from Dallas. So we have here um, in my demo system a clean system, no offenses, uh, nothing going on, on in terms of uh, logs. And the first thing uh, that we did here was actually enable one of the rules. Remember that UBA comes with a, a great deal of rules and many of them are disabled because it, you, you want the system to actually create the, the baselines and you enable the, the rules once that uh, 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 threshold, that uh, baseline has been created. So this is the rule, network traffic. And, and basically, the, when we look at the actual rule, the, the rule basically uh, detects when uh, uh, any type of, particularly Windows logs, gets to curator in which indicates that somebody has uh, fired a program that is stored in this uh, reference set that we will see in a minute that is not part of the authorized ones. And the only thing that we did is uh, we actually add uh, to make it part of an offense and dispatch a new event as we see here. If we go into the admin tab, into the reference set, and we sort this alphabetically in reverse order, we see here the uh, reference set that uh, curator actually uses. And this is the one that we just saw. And in here we have populated a couple of the things that you should not be running. In particular we see that a particular user is going to be firing this uh, send map, which is a, uh, a kind of a net map, a scanner, and you should not have these uh, unauthorized uh, scanners uh, going inside your network. The other reference set that uh, I'm uh, here that I would like to uh, call your attention on is uh, this one, trusted user names, which are the users that get white listed. As we see here, we don't have anyone just right now. So with all that said, uh, let's actually go into this uh, Windows user. As we see, this is the RST Oops uh, user. And we're going to be firing uh, Zenmap from here. And we'll see what happened. Again, this is uh, out of the box. And we see that uh, we got that rule actually firing. And this is actually the username that, that we log in. Uh, by the way, the login, the Windows logs were uh, brought by a, a SNARE agent that we installed in that um, Windows box. It started to send the uh, logs into uh, Curator and Curator out to discover them. Piece of cake. And this is the actual event that uh, gets that we modify the actual rule to make it fire a particular event, and we should have an offense uh, here as a consequence of that particular event. And if we go into the uh, user uh, behavior analytics tab, we have all the users doing risky things and getting their risk scores being activated. And in here, when we click all, we should see, and here it is, yeah, RST, oops, uh, that user that actually got his risk score in, in, in incremented uh, up to from 0 to 50 because he accessed that uh, restricted program and it's called to the attention. But let's say that this guy is uh, one of your networking guys who has to do some scanning here and here and then. You can actually just click in here and uh, he's actually whitelisted and we should be able to see him being added uh, to the same reference set that we saw before which are the trusted users. And uh, that means that uh, the offense will either not, not fire or will fire with the much lower uh, uh, severity uh, and we see that has been actually added by the API itself into this list so he's a trusted user.